CTV's Mercedes Stevenson joins us with more exclusive details. So, Mercedes, why is the minister really in Iraq? Well, Sandy, it's a chance for him to visit troops who are deployed over the holiday season. They're far from family, and the minister remembers what that was like as a former soldier himself. So it's a chance for him to thank them for their service. But there's also a very practical government purpose to this trip. It's a chance for the minister to sit down with Canada's Kurdish and Iraqi allies and ask them what the Canadian government might be able to offer in terms of a training mission. As you know, the Liberal government has promised to increase the size of the mission, but no specifics have been offered, whether it might be medical, support, or special forces. It makes sense to ask the people whose country it actually is what they need to improve their chances of fighting ISIS. Right. And the fact that the Liberals have promised to remove the CF-18 fighters, obviously that has to come up in discussions there as well. That's absolutely on the table, and it's very important for the Canadian government that they get political cover from the Kurds and from the Iraqis on this to say that they're okay with Canada pulling the planes. CTV News has learned that behind the scenes, in spite of appearances, allies aren't happy, Sandy, with the decision to pull the planes out. So that's an important thing for the minister to establish. He also will reiterate his support for the anti-ISIS coalition on this trip and will wrap up visiting sailors on HMCS Winnipeg to thank them for their service. All right. Thank you, Mercedes, for this.